Dr. Sovereigns at Countryside Veterinary Clinic, and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about cryosurgery. I have our patient here, Molly Frederick. She's an older uh, Yorkie. Caroline's my helper, and Minnie's going to ask me some questions. What is cryosurgery? Cryosurgery is the use of um, nitrous oxide, and it actually deep freezes some tissue that's not healthy and then eventually the cells die and then the little uh, piece of tissue will fall off. Is cryosurgery actually a surgery? Not really. I think when you think about surgeries, we're thinking about cutting and suturing. This is actually, I would think it would be better to call it cryotherapy because that's what we're going to do. How is cryotherapy performed? Well, let me show you. Um, zoom in here and we'll show you Molly's little adenoma on her face. And it kind of gets in the way she paws at it sometimes. It's hard for the groomer to groom around. So she's older and we didn't feel like it would be a good idea to put her under anesthesia for that little tiny mass. So Caroline's going to hold her and I'm going to use uh, this funnel that we measured. Um, it's actually five millimeters. Place it over top of that uh, little lump and we're going to count to five seconds and um, then we're going to take it off and then we're going to see that that little tissue is white now and which is frozen we're going to let it thaw and then we're going to repeat that so here we go so molly's a good little dog so we're going to go all right that's our five seconds we take it off and you can see that the tissue there is white because we froze it it didn't hurt Molly at all. She's doing great. And in a few seconds, it will fall. So do you have any other questions for me? Yes. How effective is cryosurgery? It should be 100%. Um, we are going to, most of these cells are, all your body cells is made up of 70% water. So it freezes uh, the water in the cells, which cracks it and um, it destroys the cells. And so what will really happen in two or three weeks from now, this is, this is just going to swell up a little bit, shrink down, dry up, scab, and then the scab will come off and you'll have healthy tissue underneath. Right. And why do we do cryosurgery instead of surgery? There's a lot of reasons. First of all, you can see in Molly's case is that she's older. It's a little problem and we don't need to completely put this dog under anesthesia for that. Sometimes they have heart murmurs, which actually precludes um, anesthesia. Um, so it's kind of, it's safer, quicker, less expensive, and we usually have a really great outcome. So I hope that helps you. I will go ahead and after this is done filming, I'm going to go ahead and do it uh, one or two more times and then uh, we'll send her home and two or three weeks she'll be back and it'll all be gone. Thank you.